hey guys here's the next problem on the band and block break so it is a question in a band and block breaks the band is lined with 14 blocks it means there are 14 blocks under the band each of which sustain an angle of 20 degree that is each block sustain 20 degree angle at the drum center one end of the drum is attached to the fulgurum of the brake lever and the other to the pin 150 mm from the fulgurum find the force required at the end of the lever 1 meter long from the fulgurum to give a torque of 4 kN per meter for both clockwise and anticlockwise rotation of the drum the diameter of the brake drum is 1 meter and the coefficient of the friction between the drum is 0.25 so let us write the given data. So the first data is number of blocks that is n equals to 14 and 2 theta equals to 20 degree. In band and block breaks we take theta as 2 theta so 20 degree therefore the theta equals to 10 degree. Now breaking torque is given Tb equals to 4 kN per meter get converted to Newton per meter and the next is given 150 that is diameter DE equals to 1 meter so the radius of the drum equals to 0.5 meter coefficient of friction mu equals to 0.25 so in this case of band and block brakes we can write the brake ratio of tension as tension of nth block to that of the tension on the starting block equals to 1 plus mu 10 theta upon 1 minus mu 10 theta the whole raised to n here n is the number of blocks so just substituting the values like n equals to 14 mu 0 0.25 and theta as 10 degree so solving this we get tn by to equals to 3.43 now next the breaking torque torque can be written as Tb equals to T nth minus To into Re. Here we know that Re equals to 0 0.5 and from here Tn equals to 3.43 To and breaking torque is given that is Tb equals to 4 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter so solving this all we get to equals to 39 3292 3292 newton and tn equals to 11292 newton so these are the various tensions acting now we need to solve for the clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation of the drum so now for the case one drum rotates clockwise now drawing the diagram here it's a drum
so and here and there are various blocks inside placed that is 14th number of block inside the drum so naming here the in clockwise the fourth p will act downward b t n tension t o and here a 150 mm and from here to here the distance is 1 meter the rotation is clockwise so now taking the moment about the fulgram o we get p into ob p into ob equals to tension to into a where a is 0.15 tension to from previous data we have 3292 and ob as given 1 meter we need to find p it is 3292 into 0.15 upon 1 that is equals to 493 newton so this is the p in clockwise direction now drum rotates in anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction so same diagram just writing here the same diagram we can draw and just starting the moment that is summation of moment of forces at fulgram o similarly summation of moment of forces at fulgram o that is p in this this p into ob equals to tn in this case tn in previous we have to now in this case in anti clockwise we have tn into tn into a now we know that tn value is 1192 and value of a is 0.15 and b o b distance is 1 meter solving this we get p equals to 11292 into 0.15 upon 1 that is we get 169382 newton so this is the p required to stop the brake so we can see in downward motion of the force the force required is less to stop the brake than as compared to the upward motion of the block moment uh, sorry rod moment the force moment in the upward direction